I am ready to make some ribs. Is there anything better than baby back ribs that literally fall off the bone? I don't think so. And today I'm going to show you my foolproof, never fail method for making barbecue baby back ribs that are so tender you pick one up, the meat literally just falls off. And these are just as good done on the grill in the summer, in the oven in the winter. Today I'm going to use the oven, which is preheated to 300 degrees. And the first thing we do is prepare the meat. So if you have a sharp knife, I actually just take this fat and I just get rid of it as much as you can. You just get rid of it. Nobody needs it. This is what causes all the heart, the heart disease and everything. So just take off as much as possible and uh, you'll see that you do not need any of this fat to make these ribs tender. So the next thing I do after I take as much fat off is you have to take off that sort of a silver membrane on the back. You need a sharp knife and a paper towel and you just kind of get under uh, find a little place to get under that membrane. See right here. You get under it and then you grab it here. Cut it a little bit more. You grab it with a paper towel and it should peel right off. Let's see what happens. This is what you want. The paper towel otherwise you can't get a hold of it. So see how that peels off? Perfect. Well almost perfect. But that's what happens. Okay, Some of it's coming off. Then you have to go back and get the rest. Sometimes it all comes off at once, but this is reality. And the reality is it doesn't always come off at once. So you have to, there it goes. There. Now we got it. Paper towel. Okay. I'll cut each one. Just cut it apart. And, um, and again, the membrane that I took off is what's going to make these kind of fall apart. Uh, some people want to be able to chew on them a little bit. If that's the case, you can leave that membrane on. But I like them just super, super tender and falling off the bone. Okay, I'm down to the last one. There it is. Okay. All cut. All right, now uh, they need a little bit of something acid to help them tenderize. And so I use lemon. So I have a lemon here. I'm going to cut that in half. And you just, I just kind of just put lemon on them all over and just rub them with lemon, both all sides. I think this is a pretty nice big lemon, so I don't need any more than that. And I just kind of rub, make sure they're all covered with this uh, nice acidic fresh lemon juice. Okay. All right, now the next step is the rub. I make my own rub. You can use a store bought of whatever your favorite rub. This is how I make mine. And I have all the spices out here already, and I have my brown sugar. So my recipe is, it's a, it's, it's a quarter cup of brown sugar right here. And then I add, here's all the spices, two teaspoons each of chili powder and paprika, a teaspoon of salt, mustard, and oregano, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Okay, so that's all it. I'm going to put this all in. Thank goodness for flexible cutting boards. Look at that. Okay, all right, so that's it. You just kind of mix it up a little bit. If I can avoid cleaning up, I'll put them on, I'll put the rub on my foil here. And we're gonna start to dip these into the, into the rub. I like to actually press it on. You press that rub right on. See, look at this. Press it, and it's right there. That's, that's what you want. But because I cut the ribs, look, I can do the sides and the ends and everything, and then I just kind of rub it on that side. I place them in this foil, like I said, the meaty side down, and it's going to be a little crowded, but they will shrink up a little bit after they, once they've cooked. So now we're going to cover this with foil, and uh, you cover it shiny side out, okay, because you want this to slow cook. So there's the shiny side, the shiny side up, the dull side towards the meat and just tighten that foil up really, really well. And then you have your preheated oven at 300 degrees. You put them in the oven for two and a half hours. Okay, after two and a half hours, here's what you're gonna have. Look at this. Ah, awesome, look at that. All right, so now, as you can see, a lot of the fat and stuff has cooked off. It's down there in the bottom. So we're going to get rid of some of that. I'm just going to pour that off. We don't need it. I'll pour it off, as much of it that comes off. Okay. And now 
All that's left to do is to finish them with some sauce. Now, if you're going to finish them on the grill, because they're so tender, I usually have to use like some kind of a basket or a tray like this, because otherwise when you start turning them, they'll fall through. But in the oven, we just leave them right in here. That's why I like to do the oven so much. Leave them in here. You set your oven to broil at this point, but leave the rack in the middle. Don't move it up. Leave the rack in the middle, and we're going to baste. And I have my own barbecue sauce that I make that I love, and my recipe's on the website, but you can use any sauce that you like. I like kind of a sweet, sticky sauce. And now we're going to baste. And it just, I'm telling you, wait till you see. Okay, there's the sauce. Now they go in the oven that's now set to broil. The rack is in the same spot right in the middle. And about five minutes per side. We'll check it in about three or four minutes. Then we'll turn them over and they'll be done. Ribs. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Can you hear it? Can you smell it? Can you see it? All right, now we're going to turn these over and baste them. But here's the thing. Uh, if you start turning them with tongs or a fork or something, they're going to break because they're so tender. I actually put on a pair of kitchen gloves uh, clean out of the package. And these are thicker because they're hot, but it's much easier to handle them because they're very, very tender at this point. So we're just going to turn them over. Can you look at this? Look at that. It's just, oh my God. All right. So we'll turn them all over. And again, you can see how that meat is just coming off. So, and you'll be glad you use this disposable foil or something foil line because it does, uh, the broiler definitely makes kind of a mess in there. Look at how, see this, what I'm talking about? Look at this. And I'm handling it with gloves and it's falling apart. Now we're going to baste this side. This is the meaty side. So back in your broil, broiling oven. And the thing about this is too, is you can actually look at this. They handle the heat so well, you don't, they don't get that hot. Okay. Back in there, four to five minutes, and they're done. Oh, look at this. I can actually handle this with these gloves because they're nice and thick, but look at that. I'm telling you, there are no words to describe how awesome these are. They're very hot, so I still have my gloves on. I'm just going to pick one up and show you how, okay. Oh, it's still cooking. You do want to let them sit for a couple of minutes, but just... Look at this. All right, that's, that's, okay, that's it. If you make these ribs, you're going to make somebody really, really happy. Hi, sweetheart. Guess what I made for dinner? Those baby back ribs that fall off the bone, and they're right here. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart.